holding their breath that the start of COVID vaccination is the beginning of the end of what has been a major crisis. But as Dr Norman Swan reports, vari virus variants emerging in other countries are causing some concern. The vaccine rollout has finally started here and across the globe it's gathering speed. Over the past few weeks, the number of COVID-19 cases has been falling dramatically in many countries. This was predicted by modelers at the Institute of Health Metrics Evaluation in Seattle back in November. But epidemiologist Chris Murray believes this fall in cases has little or nothing to do with vaccines. COVID is very seasonal. And the peak of seasonality we expected was sometime mid-January to, to early February. And so the decline we're seeing now is probably mostly driven by seasonality. Chris Murray's group has some of the best pandemic modelers in the world. Having correctly predicted the current downturn, you'd imagine he's pretty optimistic now that vaccinations are occurring in the hundreds of millions. Well, you'd be wrong. He's concerned about a third wave. We have these new variants spreading, you know, the, the UK variant, South African variant, the Brazilian variant, and that's increasing transmission. And then the, the real wild card is what will happen to people's behavior. Are people going to, as vaccination spreads, just say, we're done with this epidemic, we're gonna stop wearing our masks, we're gonna stop being careful. And it's very easy in the models to have a huge you know, spring surge if people stop being careful too soon. So we're sort of on a knife's edge in, in, the, next, in the next four months. Several lines of evidence have experts worried. Manaus is a city in Brazil where 76% of the population have been infected with the original strain of the virus, yet do not seem to be protected against the new Brazilian variant. And the same thing has occurred in South Africa, where past COVID infection does not protect against the South African variant, which also seems to be more vaccine resistant than other variants studied so far. The South African variant uh, is quite resistant to vaccines, and it means that the concept of herd immunity may just not be very meaningful because it may be specific to a given variant, a new variant comes along and you sort of start over. The third vaccine we have on order is from Novavax. It performs better than Astra, but in South Africa also showed a fall off. So Novavax have released interim results of, of two interesting studies. The first in the UK, the overall efficacy result was 89.3% with more than 50% of the cases being attributable to the UK variant. Whereas in South Africa, the overall efficacy result in HIV negative individuals was um, 60%. The Astra vaccine is the least effective against the new variant. It's indistinguishable from no effect. Immunization offers personal protection against severe COVID-19 disease, which both the Astra and Pfizer vaccines do well. But when it comes to opening our international borders safely, that's where the concern about variants matter most. If your borders do open up, uh, it's not the right vaccine to be, you know, I, I wouldn't take the vaccine uh, in, in that case. I would try very hard to get a hold of one of the more effective vaccines. Well, um, I don't agree with that. We don't have anything that Mark the day we need to reach conclusions yet. Well, our first goal is protection. And uh, what we see is uh, with uh, both the, the two initial vaccines, the, uh, the Pfizer and the AstraZeneca vaccine, uh, the international evidence is that uh, the safety impact for uh, prevention of serious illness, hospitalisation, death has been determined to be up to 100%. The reality is that Australians returning home are increasingly going to be importing vaccine-resistant strains into hotel quarantine. And we may be as vulnerable as ever, unless the government plans for it. Don't forget too that there are other, um, that there are other vaccines, the next wave of vaccines are still to come. There are a number which are still in phase three, so it's not all over in terms of the vaccines which are there. But Novavax is already working on new vaccines with the new strains, and feasibly they could have a vaccine with, with two strains in, the, the original COVID strain and the new variants, or they could have a vaccine that could be used as a booster that would address the new variant. Um, that, that work is ongoing and they expect to have vaccines potentially in the clinic in as little as a couple of months. To really get the full benefit of all this money being spent on vaccination, 
Some experts argue the authorities are going to have to show agility and flexibility to implement booster doses with vaccine variants as soon as possible. All of the major manufacturers are already working on um, modifications to their vaccines that will deal with the variants that have emerged. We will not be able to manage without modifications to the vaccine, both in the near future and also probably down the track. We always have to be aware of the capacity of the virus to mutate, and we have to uh, look at what is uh, called the longevity of the protection uh, with regards to the antibodies that are developed. And uh, the world doesn't know that answer.